God bless you. <laughs> Big time.
Good morning. Good morning. We welcome all parishioners and visitors as we prepare to celebrate the first Sunday of Advent. A Julian Art Showcase by Carmelina Passero will be held Thursday, December 2nd to Sunday, December 5th in the parish gathering room. Please see the poster in the foyer for times. This is a great opportunity to pick up a First Communion, Confirmation, Birthday, and Christmas gifts. There are a few spots left in Father Rico's Marian pilgrimage this July. If you're interested, kindly contact the parish office for more information. And please note that the weekday mass time this coming Wednesday has been moved from 6.30 p.m. as well as the 5 p.m. mass next Saturday has been moved to 7 p.m. due to the Santa Claus parade. Our celebrants today is Father uh, Charlie Galea and Deacon John Shalea. Please stand and join in the processional hymn. Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to winter, even though it's not on the calendar yet. <laughs> As we begin our preparation for the birthday of the Lord, we ask God to forgive us for the times that we have turned away from God. Lord, Increase our love for you and one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, help us to live in ways that are pleasing to you. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, give us the faith to see beyond the worries and anxieties of daily life to trust in you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Do not say or sing the glory to God during the Advent season because that's the great singing of the angels at the birthday of our Lord. But we do have our blessing and the lighting of our first candle on our Advent wreath. Lord our God, we praise you for your Son, Jesus Christ. He is Emmanuel, the hope of the peoples. He is the wisdom that teaches and guides us. He is the savior of every nation. Lord God, let your blessing come upon us in this wreath as we light the candle of this wreath. May the wreath and its light be a sign of Christ's promise to bring us salvation. May he come quickly and not delay. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us continue to pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, 
the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will fulfill the promise I made to the house of Israel and the house of Judah. In those days and at that time, I will cause a righteous branch to spring up for David, and he shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In those days, Judah will be, Judah will be saved, and Jerusalem will live in safety. And this is the name by which it will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. The word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all, just as we abound in love for you. And may he so strengthen your hearts in holiness that you may be blameless before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his saints. Finally, brothers and sisters, we ask and urge you in the Lord Jesus that, 
as you learn from us how you ought to live and to please God, as in fact you are doing, you should do so more and more. For you know what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. The word of the Lord. Steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The gospel be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. Jesus spoke to his disciples. There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on the earth distress among nations, confused by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will faint from fear and foreboding of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now, when these things begin to take place, stand, and, stand up and raise your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. Be on guard so that your hearts will not weigh down with deception, dissipation, and drunkenness, and the worries of this life and that day catch you unexpectedly like a trap. For it will come upon all who live on the face of the whole earth. Be alert at all times, praying that you may have the strength to escape all these things that will take place and to stand before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, good morning. 
So we put these things in our mind, our mind we have here, that it's going to happen to us. We believe the many can meet him at our death or when he comes in that great cloud. You know, when I was a little boy, actually, you know what happened here today? Uh, people were coming into Mass and they were saying, Good morning, Father. Good morning, Father. I'm not a priest.
Let us make our response to God's word and Deacon John's message through the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He sent into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As we begin a new church year, we pray to God our Father to help us prepare for the coming of the Lord into our world and into our lives. The response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our Holy Father, for our bishop and priests and deacons that may be re renewed in this season of Advent. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a community, we may not fail to recognize the coming of Christ in those whom we meet in the course of our day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we look forward to the Christmas celebration of Christ's birthday, may we, by our willingness, share the hardships and trials of those who are experiencing difficulties in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the old, the lonely, and the sick, especially Marilella Kirby, Andy Baranek, Irene Uranowski, Herman Perrier, Fernando Cardoso, Paul Jenkinson, Joan Adams, June Chamberlain, and Doug Robinson, that they may feel the healing presence of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died, especially Fran Farr, Kathleen Kelly, Frank Marshalovich, Ivanka Kovacevzak, Isabella Pereri, Al Silk, Mattia King, Ann Epich, Christine Martin Bridgem, George Dasovich, Anita Mantini, Courtney Russo, Grisilla Mesa de Bustaman, and Ron Annable, that they will meet Christ on their heavenly journey. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And at this Mass, we also remember Vincenzo and Giuseppe Passero. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, during this Advent season, give us a new vision as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of, our, of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands. Praise and glory of his name for our good and good of us, Holy Church. Accept, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he, he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, in all you have created, rightly gives you praise for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. Never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, our Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts that we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night that he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, will be shed for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
our mother too. Joseph, her, her spouse, your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church here on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Gerard, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassionate, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and all the names contained in our book of life, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray that God's kingdom will come into our hearts and into our lives. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every even graciously grand peace in our days that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, has said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace. Peace be with you, peace be with you, peace be with you, peace be with you, peace be with you. Jesus, who takes away the sins of the world, happy are we now who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter unto my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ, bring us to everlasting life. Our spiritual communion, by Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Listen to Deacon John, now you're going to listen to me for a while. I noticed on the cornerstone outside the name of uh, Bishop John O'Mara. He was the rector of the seminary when I was there, which means principal. He, uh, I caused him some grief and because uh, <laughs> I was known as a rebel. And somebody reminded me last night that I'm still a rebel. I was in um, eight parishes in my 49 years as a priest in the Hamilton Diocese. The diocese goes from the city of Hamilton to Tobermory, which is about four hours away. One of the places that I was assigned was Dundalk. Dundalk is the highest elevation point in Ontario where people live. I had three churches, and uh, the snow was unbelievable up there. The churches had no running water and no bathrooms. So if you had to go, you had to go in the back 40. One of the churches that I was at was St. Joseph's Church in Fergus, which is north of Guelph. It was built in 1832. The church, the community rather, was a very much a Presbyterian area, very few Catholics. And the Catholic church, which was small, was on the same street as the Presbyterian church. Meanwhile, on the main street, there was a very large sign indicating where the Presbyterian Church was, but not the Catholic Church. So I went to the town hall, and I insisted that a sign be allowed to be put up on the main street, and they said no. So I said, well, I'm going to go to human rights. See how I'm still that kind of person <laughs> that causes trouble? Anyways, long story short, we got the, uh, got the sign, which I'm very pleased about. I'm very pleased that the bishop retired me, but uh, God opened some windows so that I'm able to go around. I don't need to worry about the roof leaking and paying the bills, just being my priestly self. And so I've been very happy to be here at this parish uh, last weekend during the week. And this week, uh, I will pray for you, and I ask you to do the same thing for me. Hopefully, we'll meet again. God bless. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us for even now as we walk amid passing things. You teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. O we fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangerous, O glorious and virgin Mary. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Bear our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be with you and we pray. And thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, all the evil 
spirits that prowl through the world seeking the ruin of souls. May St. Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error, corruption, and be our ally in the conflict of powers and darkness. As of old, there is a child of Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now I defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all in your continual protection. So that by your help and example, we lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. I ask you to respond, amen, to each of these, these, of these, uh, these, of these invocations as we conclude the celebration. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of his only begotten Son, and yearn to his coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent, and enrich you with his blessing. Amen. amen. As you run the race of this present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Keep looking up. And have a great week. As Deacon John says, keep looking up. Here we go. One, two, three, four.